Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this dining table and chair over here. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, let's go to the top view over here and let's take a rectangle. So let's just take a rectangle. Let's go into this, convert to editable spline. Let's select this polygons. First I'll duplicate it. So select this and over here select the vertices and let's give fillet over here so I can slightly assign a fillet over here in this way and I can slightly shuffle this a bit further let's go over here and give a modifier called extrude so let's just assign a extrude modifier over here so I'll just slightly just shuffle this up so now what I can do over here is like simultaneously I'll just shuffle this over here in the same way so I'll again go into this push it over here again select the vertices slightly give fillet over here so push this up so we'll definitely scale it later on so select this edges and let's delete this over here I can go into this view over here slightly and go into rendering enable in viewport and increase its length and width a bit over here so select this and if you want you can slightly just push this down a bit over here so you can just shuffle this up till here so push it in this way adjust it so if you want you can put some refine over here that's it so you can select this part and you can scale a bit if required so let's again go into this and slightly you can resize this select this part select the polygons so convert to editable spline before that what I can do over here is like I'll go into this view I'll slightly shuffle this further and let's take a line which is going to be connected in this way so select this and copy this you can do it in this way so let's just 
attach it with this. So fuse vertices, weld vertices, fuse and weld vertices. So select this vertices over here and slightly you can assign a bit of fillet to it so that is possible so once it is done I'll just convert to poly select this let's again go over here and convert to editable poly so select the polygons so let's select this all polygons over here and extrude it down much better and this way so I can again select this and this I can extrude this more down till here and we can go into this let's put one loop so I can just put one loop over here and I can slightly shuffle it behind and this way so that can be done select this so that can be done so select this polygons over here And just drag this down let's put one more swift loop so the same way let's put one swift loop over here one over here push it inside and this way So I'll adjust this the same way for this side also the same way select this let's convert to editable poly select the polygons and give a bit of insert slightly and let's just bevel it and click ok so again select this part select the edges over here push it in this way let's go over here select the vertices you can slightly shuffle it a bit back if required or else we'll keep it like this only that's totally okay 
so select this slightly just push this up and slightly push this up in this way. now go again over here let's take a line of this So I'll push this up till here. So enabling viewport and slightly we can reduce it. Now Again, select this, shuffle it over here, I'm sorry, and let's give mirror over here, copy it in x axis and drag it in this way. So push it a bit inside over here. Select this. So select this whole thing and let's group it. Slightly scale this. Push it down over here. Drag it in this way. And increase the specular. Okay. And let's duplicate this. So you can still make it more smoother if required. I'll just make a copy of it. Alright. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.